Hey everyone, welcome back to the place we're testing every single mask on Amazon. Today we're looking at a lot of KN95s. Very excited to look at the Ryzeio mask. E-I-E-I-O. It's got like, what? Well, that's interesting. So it's got two eyes here. And then on here, it's got three eyes. Which one is it? Which one is it? <laughs> Pick a lane. All right, let's open this up and see. Boy, attention to detail with these guys for sure, huh? Okay, you open it up and then it's individually packed. Or it's uh, packed in fives. Oh, this might actually be a legitimate KN95, which will be the second one of the day. And I'll tell you how, if you're just joining me for the first time, I'll show you how I know that. Clamp can. Oof. Good clamp. Let it rip. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. If you want to find out how this works, check out that link. We're doing the NIOSH test here, which is the test they use for both N95 and KN95, uh, which is important. So why did I say that this thing is probably a legit KN95? It's just a simple little test uh, that you too can do at home. Uh, so the KN95 standard requires three things. You got to say KN95, you got to say the type of KN95, so they have this standard. This one is the 26, GB2626-2019. And then you got to have the manufacturer name, Rizio. I don't know why they got it wrong on Amazon, but that seems to be the manufacturer's name. So that's really cool. This may be an actual KN95, so very excited for that. Uh, let's take a look at the listing really quickly. Black KN95, manufactured by... Oh, that's interesting. Guanzo Powercom Labor Insurance Supply Co. <laughs> what? That's a pivot. <laughs> what? What are insurance supplies? Like, what is that? What? Are they, was this a random number gen or name gen? <laughs> like, insurance supply, labor insurance, specific types of insurance. Man. I mean, I, get, I see why they went with Rizio. It's just much easier to say. Um, although technically that's not the manufacturer's name. All right, let's check out the ear lobes. Those are pretty good. Those are pretty good. Let's try it on. Mm, this smells like uh, the lint inside of an old jeans pocket. So not horrible because it's been washed, but just interesting that a mask would smell like that. Um, but it doesn't have the traditional, like, super plasticky smell that masks have. Uh, what was the breathability you catch? 114 Pascals. That's great breathability. And, uh, yeah, so, I mean, let's, you know, does any of this, does this matter if it protects you, right? Does it matter if there are insurance uh, supply company, <laughs> whatever that is? And they made a great mask, 98.474. 98.474. Good sturdy mask. Mostly I'm going to call it following the KN95 standard, which is like the second one that we've tested today, which is, I mean, actually the second one I've tested ever, I think, uh, from Amazon that's actually quasi following the standard and it has 98% filtration. So, uh, hey, Powcom Labor Insurance Supply Company, <laughs> you're doing it. You make a great mask. So that was a good pivot. Good pivot. You guys did a good job. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, give me a like, man, or subscribe. I'd, I'd appreciate it very much. And I will catch you guys on the next test.